Hello. Welcome. If you are hearing this, you found our podcast. We are so glad that you are here. Oh my gosh. Yay. So exciting. So exciting. My name is Maddie. And my name is Liz. And we are twin sisters. And best friends. Such a cliche, but it's true. And currently it is 2020 and we're living in a global pandemic. Isn't that wild? That is so wild. And despite... The many times I've said the words global pandemic, every time I say them, I still struggle to wrap my head around it. Yeah. Crazy. Wild. Wild. So we've been having these amazing discussions. That sounds a little conceited. Very conceited. But we have been having very deep. Very deep. Meaningful. Meaningful conversations that, I don't know, I think are important and yeah. very vulnerable. Very open-ended. A lot of open-ended discussions. discussions. We've been asking ourselves a lot of life's biggest questions. Yeah. Which I'm sure that you're asking yourself, too. Right. Why are we here? Why are we here? What's the point? <laughs> what are we doing? How can we help? How can we leave this world a better place than we found it? The world needs a lot of love right now. But, surprise, we can supply the love. <laughs> Um, we started asking ourselves, how can we fix some of the problems in our world, in our communities, in our societies? Yeah, in our own lives. In our own lives. And I just want to make this very clear. We totally support activism. Big movements. Big movements. Participating in big movements. Totally support that. Totally, 100%. 100%. And it's so necessary. And young people are so necessary to those movements. And we fully support them, and we fully encourage you to support them. However, we also believe that a way to maybe fix some of the issues in our world is to fix some of the issues we have inside ourselves. Definitely. Everything starts within us. Within us. We have the power to change the world. By changing ourselves. By changing ourselves. And that sounds scary. That sounds a little daunting, but we truly believe it's possible. And the first step is just becoming aware of the flaws that we have in ourselves, accepting them, and growing. Yeah. So that's where Courageously Kai podcast was born. Yes. Which is this very deep, long discussion. And this podcast was kind of happened spontaneously. Very. It was only a couple weeks ago that I said to Liz, hey, do you want to do a podcast? I was like, a podcast? <laughs> What's, What's that? Podcast? <laughs> no, but it. we just kind of, we selfishly kind of wanted a rec- recording. Yeah, a record, a record of, of these what conversations. Yeah. Um, just so we can look back on them in a Definitely. few years or next week or whatever and just remind ourselves remind ourselves of the things we were talking about but also we thought maybe someone out there can take away something from these conversations we were having not that our conversations were being wasted just on ourselves no but i thought they were pretty important conversations and conversations that people could benefit from right and if our conversations can spark other conversations and maybe get somebody else to talk to their friend about these very huge topics. Absolutely. Then our conversations could spark change. Mm. And we figured that that is how we can help right now. Yeah. And we're just so excited to be doing this. Oh, so fun. And sharing these conversations with you. I think you mentioned it on your Instagram, a passion project. It's, it really is a passion project. Yeah. Um, we've been, you know, just in, you know, creating our Instagram and making some little posts to go out. Oh, I've had so much fun. I've had so much fun. It, re- it truly is a passion project. And it truly is. I think we are really pouring our hearts into this. Definitely. So one of the things we would love to do is to highlight other organizations or charities that are working for a kinder and better world. Absolutely. We have a few organizations in mind already that we've been in contact with that we feel 
are really working to make the world a better place. But if there's any organizations that you're a part of or that you've heard of that you think are making the world a kinder, better place, and you'd like us to highlight them, please let us know. Yes. You can contact us on our Instagram at Courageously Kind Podcast, or you can even email us at CourageouslyKindPodcast at gmail.com. We would love to hear about your organization or an organization that you support, and we'd love to help raise awareness for them. Definitely, because we are two underqualified gals just talking in our room. Just spewing these ideas. Right, just rambling, really. Pretty much, yeah. But if we can be a vessel for other organizations and people who are really doing big things and really changing the world yeah that would be our ultimate goal yes so please let us know or just reach out and chat with us we're here anytime we're here to help support you and know that we support you and we love you and we're so excited that you have chosen to come along this journey with us yes we are going to be doing a weekly episode i think we've decided that we're going to post on sundays um, just to help week. you sort of start your week with a little kindness. Yeah. And we're going to be talking about a variety of topics. Obviously, kindness is going to be our first big topic that we're going to be discussing. But we're also going to be talking about health and wellness yeah. and how to take care of yourself. Kindness to ourselves. Kindness, kindness to ourselves. To the earth. Kindness to the earth. We're going to be talking about peace and conflict resolution. We just have a lot to talk about. Yeah. And... We're just so excited to be sharing it with you. I think this is really going to be a great outlet for us. Yeah. And even if no one listens, I think just talking will be beneficial for us. Definitely. And if you can get something out of it... Wonderful. Amazing. We... That's the goal, is that someone can hear our words and maybe take something yeah. from them and use it in their own lives. Yeah. Um... What else about us? Um, if there's a topic you'd like to hear about, let us know. Let us know if there's a, something that you're passionate about. Yes. And you would like to come be a guest on our podcast? Yes, shoot us a message. Shoot us a message. We would absolutely love, love, love to hear what you have to say yeah. and amplify your voice. Definitely. A little bit. Yeah. Um, we want this podcast to be sort of a safe place for anybody and a place where you can feel heard and you can feel safe to, um, you know. To express your concerns and your passions. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just so excited. I've been, like, smiling this whole time. <laughs> so excited. Um... So, we are totally new at this. This is totally a new venture for us. Yeah, definitely out of our comfort zone, too. Definitely out of our comfort zone. But I think there was this quote, I think Eleanor Roosevelt said it, do one thing a day that scares you. Mm. And I'm paraphrasing there. But I thought that was really great. And I thought, you know, this is something we're really excited about, but we're also pretty scared about. Oh, yeah. But... We love it enough to kind of stomach the fear, almost, and dive in to this project. Um, I think we covered everything. Yeah, I think we we got everything. Again, if you have any questions for us, reach out. We're here for you, and we're here to talk, and we love to talk, so... (laughs) Um, Thank you so much for tapping on our... On our podcast, and thank you to everyone who showed us support. I don't know if I talked about this yet, but um, we announced that we were going to be starting a podcast yesterday, or a couple days ago, I guess. And if if you saw it and you reached out to us, that means the world to us. Even just sharing it on your Instagram. It fills our hearts. It It really really fills our hearts, and it really gives us motivation to keep going and lets us know that there are people out there that care. And we care. We care about you. About you. So, oh my gosh, the, I heard a knock at the door and the cat, cat has stuck his paw under the door. 
I think he wants to contribute to the conversation here. <laughs> Anyways, um, t-shirts. We do have yeah. t-shirts. Um, they say, be courageously kind with our little mascot lion. Our little lion. We have yet to name the lion, but... If you have any ideas... If you have any name suggestions... Let us know. We sound like we just really want to talk to people. Okay. I feel like we've said, you know, reach out to us so yes. many times. <laughs> and it's true. We'd love to talk to you. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Definitely. So we have t-shirts, be courageously kind. Just a gentle little reminder to be kind to others, to be kind to yourself, be kind to our planet mm -hmm. and everybody in it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're interested in a t-shirt, let me know. Um, we're working on getting maybe like a little web store set up. Yeah. But again, we're totally new at this and we have no idea what we're doing. We have no idea what we're doing. So if you're interested, ugh, there we go. <laughs> if, you're into that. if you're into that, if you're interested, um, you can DM us on Instagram and yeah. I'll put some information up on there as well um i guess we'll see you on sunday yeah our first episode so is gonna funny. be we'll all about kindness sunday. and what that means for us yeah. so we will see you on sunday remember to always be courageously kind to yourself to others and to our planet yes thank you guys so so much for listening have a wonderful day we love you love yourself love others and we'll see you soon and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much.